But the Flint Journal, uh, over the years of our reporting, seems to forget who they're journaling for. So Jen has put together handy dandy, uh, you know, very, very easy to digest, almost like a book report here on our recent story that has the top bullets, uh, phones belonging to top officials close to Governor Snyder, including his press secretary, were erased. Uh, we broke this a few weeks ago. I'm pretty sure the Flint Journal knows about it. We broke it in the Detroit Metro Times and The Intercept on, okay. sure, yeah. on Governor Rick Snyder's administration. Their phones were deleted. People might remember uh, a couple years ago, uh, a, a young boy was on the cover of Time magazine uh, with rashes all over his body, and that was your son, Sincere. There's nothing to show me what our test levels was. There's nothing to tell me what were even anything from 2016 to 2014. It's pretty much just not there. The, the most they have for me is something for 2017. I mean, 2018. I had three kids after 2014. I should have some sort of data, some sort of blood work, some sort of something. It's nothing there. So, you know, when you talk about a cover up and we talk about stuff like this, they've been covering this, our lead test results up from from the jump, once they start saying that it was too many people being tested, we can't keep up with the records. We can't, we don't have the, the capacity to process all of this. What happens to all that stuff? What happened to all our, like, so nothing now exists at all that had to do with blood levels and what our levels were? So, yeah, if you could just leave it for them. This is a major cover up of the Flint water crisis. Okay, yeah, they're ignoring it. They're ignoring it. They know about it and they're ignoring it. So we've made it into a packet. It's the Detroit Free Press, so they should be covering it. And uh, six months after the water switch, my throat started bothering me. So my family physician of 20 something years sent me to an ENT. I got a tumor on my vocal cord. She watched it for four years. She was just getting <clears throat> ready to remove it. And she went into scope again, and there was coloring. And she, I knew from the look of her face, she's the age of my oldest. My oldest is 40. I knew, because she's in her mid-30s. And I got up and hugged her, because she didn't want to say it was cancer. So I went for a biopsy, long story short. It was aggressive throat cancer. January Ford couldn't even identify the bacterias. And uh, after, so radiation and everything. Six months later, my lungs and my throat started bothering me again. I spent three, four weeks, and after that, they released me from ICU and CCU straight home, and I told them, I can't breathe. Well, within 24 hours, I was being rushed by an ambulance to early and complete respiratory failure. <laughs> I can't, I can't really hear, no, I can't. It's, it's not my rules, it's their rules. Oh, so they don't like the public to? Not, not that, I am not it's like, it's not that they don't like the public to come up, it's like, they're also big in, like, the way that they go about things, it's just like, right, to block the public from it. Actually, I think the, the entire United States needs, needs to wake up and realize that the Democrats are basically Republicans. They're all the same ilk. Um, they're, 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 yeah, they're, they're uh, I mean, we elected Whitmer and Nestle because they made all these promises. Nothing. Duh. We should have known better. I should have known better. I supported both of them. See, my arms are still breaking out. How about your brown water? Yeah, the brown water. Coming out of there, in your bathroom. and you know, in the bathroom, and they were they had to unplug it, and it was just disgusting. You know, and then all this other deny, deny, deny. It, you can't help but think that they're trying to get away with downright murder, not attempted manslaughter, or or I mean manslaughter. It seems like murder. It it does not seem like they accidentally did this. It seems like an mo that they have taken across the nation to certain cities that are older and forget to add the anti-corrosive chemical and go, oops. It's been eight years, man. It's been eight fucking years. I, I can't take it. I'm not going nowhere. I told them that. I'm losing my houses now. 
My, my health has gone to hell. And if I die because of this, I'm dead. I'm dead. But someone's got to speak it up. I mean, you know, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, you know, the attorney general says she's not directly involved with the criminal investigation. It's yeah, it's under her watch. And, and justice delayed has been justice denied. She was not truthful to the people of this city. Uh, you know, she told us that they were going to have some criminal charges. They did not, not just charges, but convictions. She did not want people to get away with these crimes. And we see a misdemeanor is getting away with murder. You know, I always talk about how to get away with murder. Ask, ask Snyder, ask Nestle. They're all helping him do it. Of all of the people that have been affected in this city that have died, how come none of the cadavers have been tested for the lead in their bones. Even before I moved to Flint, I could see the difference in my mom and my dad and uh, my family that's lived here in Flint. Um, their health has gone to shit. They, they don't feel like doing anything or going anywhere. Or it's just, it, it's horrible. You guys, you guys are out there and you guys are getting drip fed a line of bullshit from these top notch news agencies and you guys don't really know what's going on. Yeah, we're here uh, to drop off something with Mayor Dealey. We're journalists. I don't know if you see her right now, but we broke a major story uh, two weeks ago. I don't know if the mayor knows about it, so we wanted to drop off the information. Congress is uh, investigating what we found. Health officials, they had no messages on their phone for the entire period of Flint, used Flint River. The governor refused to hand over documents for years. So I don't know if he knows about it or not, but. Are you glad? I've been in the, I've been in the business for a bit. That is what we call, please get the fuck out of here.